Growing up, rub some dirt on it. <laughs> it was always a rub some dirt on it mentality. Something hurts, you better suck it up because you got a team to play for. For collegiate athlete Tyler Scott, this is one saying she has lived by throughout her entire softball career. Ever since I could grab a glove and <laughs> hold a glove, hold a ball, and hold a bat, I was, I've been playing softball. But after years of constant work on and off the field, Scott found herself in immense pain after catching one night in a high school game. They told me that it was either my back or my hip, um, that as long as it didn't hurt me too bad, I could continue trying to play on it. So, of course, they gave me that option and I ran with it. But unfortunately, she wouldn't run far after doctors discovered an untreated soft tissue tear in her hip. After playing on it for over a year, Scott was now forced to take a much needed break. She's had a, an acute injury that happened way back when. And as she's continued to play at a competitive level with um, high school and select ball, I believe, um, that kind of just makes the symptoms worse and worse to a point where now our body cannot handle it anymore and we cannot push, we can't keep going. According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, about 30 million children and teens participate in some form of organized sport. More than 3.5 million injuries are reported each year, and according to the National Library of Medicine, about 500,000 of those injuries will result in surgery. So why do we continue to see athletes push their bodies past the limit? Dr. Brian Richardson says it all comes down to the mental conditioning athletes experience growing up. If you're a young athlete and you're hearing all these messages like you need to fight through the pain and you need to you know, pain is just a sign of weakness and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't surprise us that some athletes will choose to sort of like ignore their bodies and sacrifice their bodies for sports. Dr. Richardson also stated that with the recent rise in NIL deals at the high school and collegiate level, athletes feel more pressured to perform than ever. The college ranks and even high school athletes can get NIL deals. And so they're becoming commodities. And I would imagine for some of those great athletes who can get those deals, they're going to feel a pressure from whoever's sponsoring them, whoever's paying them to play through pain. According to the National Institutes of Health, 20% of athletes have reported injury as a reason for quitting their sport. Because it wasn't taken care of in high school, because it wasn't taken care of properly, it didn't get the proper attention at my junior college. He did state that due to the injury, um, there is no guarantee that I will ever not have pain in my hip. But after a successful surgery and constant physical therapy, Tyler Scott refuses to let her injury control her life and instead took it as a lesson for the future. If you've got pain, something's not right. Whether it be minor or whether it be major, like whether it be something torn or something that's just irritated and inflamed, um, there's always a solution. For NT Daily, I'm Lillian Kosh.